How's it going guys? It's Rejunky here. Today's video on the Samsung Galaxy Note 7. We're going to be talking about themes. Um, so let me go ahead and show you what we're talking about here. Basically, themes and advanced features. Advanced features and themes and stuff, it, it's amazing. Uh, Samsung is really doing an excellent job with these features. So we're going to go in here to wallpaper and themes. So now you need to be able to sign into a Samsung account to really utilize this well. But you have wallpaper, which is an obvious one. But themes right here is really cool. And you also have icons. Um, let's see if I can go there. There you go, icons. So there's a bunch of things you can download to customize the look and feel of your device. Now, the theme that I really prefer the most is this one. Because this basically is material design. So this is basically stock marshmallow look. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this theme and just show you how this works. Um, this is something you can download. This one is free. Uh, some of these cost anywhere up to like three dollars um, through the Samsung store, but you know this one's for free and it's really simple to set up. So, all right, so let's go back. So, boom! See that? That just changed the whole look of this phone. Um, I, I I love it. I absolutely love it. Even your your toggles. Look, everything's changed. It's all different. So theme engines are really really nice. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you in here. If I can find it again. Um, besides theming. Okay, so this is what I'm going to show you. So we're going to come back into themes, and, and you can't use this feature unless you are on the stock theme. So, because most custom themes install custom icons. So we're just going to go here and apply this back. And this should apply the default theme back to the device. And then what we're going to do is we're going to show you something. So, see how all of these have this like icon, like rounded edges kind of square looking thing around every icon so we can actually adjust that as well i mean there's there's just a lot of adjustments in here that you can do so if you come in here to i think it's under display and right here see it icon frames with frames so you can change them and that will icons only or icons with frames and hit icons only hit done and then we can go back and you can see all the icons just changed right so they don't put frames around all the default icons. I mean, the Samsung ones are still rounded because that's the way they come, but the rest of them are not. So just these little things that you can customize here on TouchWiz um, is really a big improvement, in my opinion. Um, now, they've had theme engine for a while. They've just added more to it. So, But I'm definitely going to go back to this because this is more of stock, and it kind of removes me from the TouchWiz and gets me back to kind of stock Android look, and that's really what I prefer anyway. So there you go, guys. That is the theme engine and how to manipulate some icons and things like that. Also, once you sign in and you install your first theme, you'll get this uh, shortcut right here for Samsung themes. And it's just a shortcut to get in here. And then you can also search for icon and icon packs and really customize this to the way you want it to look, which is awesome. So big props to Samsung for including theme engines, and I hope they continue their work on this. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for me. I hope you enjoyed this quick video here on the Samsung Galaxy Note 7. Stay tuned for more videos, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.